This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. We're selling this truck. It is a 2003 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Lariat FX4 6.0 turbo diesel and it's four-wheel drive. Uh, the Lariat is, means it's leather. The FX4 is an upgraded suspension package. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. We purchased it. We usually most of our vehicles are theft recoveries. This one actually, I happened to be at the Mannheim auction. Um, I had nothing to do for a couple minutes on Wednesday, last Wednesday, and uh, I wandered in, and there was nobody there. And I saw this truck roll through, and it was way, way too nice a truck to uh, not buy. So I bought it. Sent it to our uh, diesel guys uh, over at Goldie's. Made sure everything was fine. Um, and they gave it a clean bill of health and here it is um, basically I was wondering why they were, would run it through the auction instead of selling it and it was a Tucson Dodge trade-in and they're, they can't get financing for their customers on vehicles that have over 120,000 miles so that's why they sold it because they couldn't sell it unless people have cash and most people don't anyway uh, it's got beautiful tires on I'd say the tread on these tires is 80 or 90 percent. Yeah, locking hubs. A few little uh, dings and scrapes, but overall, uh, really, really good shape. My job in these videos is to tell you the bad stuff, not to tell you how great the, the truck is. Uh, but I have a feeling on this one I'm going to have a hard time finding a whole lot of stuff other than some pretty minor cosmetics. Let's see, aha. There's a little chink in the uh, tape there, the tape line. There's a little dent right here. A little touch-up paint would have made that thing almost go away. I kind of like to let people see it exactly how we bought it so that there's no surprises for you. There's a scratch here on the side of the bed. Most of our buyers pay by wire and ship. And so it's much better to have them pleasantly surprised than unpleasantly surprised. And if you, if you know all the bad first, uh, it's much better than knowing all the good. <laughs> that way, well, I've never had a customer say, you didn't tell me X, Y, or Z um, was wrong. They'll tell me, you didn't tell me how great the truck was, you know. So that's what I want. I don't want the call saying, why'd you leave that out, or why'd you leave the other thing out, or whatever. But there's a little ding over the top of the tailgate there. the bed. Looks like we've got a receiver for a fifth wheel. We do have a tow package there. Some scrapes here, here. A little ding up here. I love white though. White makes things so much better. <laughs> And I'm guessing that this is whatever, I'm not a big tow guy, but apparently this is probably what turns the ball over um, in the bed. And there's your driver rear tire. Let's see. See a little scrape right there, boy. About nine dollars with a touch-up paint would make this car look about a thousand dollars better. But uh, we really try not to do that, uh, as uh, kind of covers up too much. And we like to see, you know, he, we want you to see it the way we see it, it's safer that way for everybody. There's your Ford uh, stamp on the uh, passenger core support. There's your Ford stamp right here on the uh, passenger fender, so you know those parts are still original. There's your Watson. 
uh, Chevrolet sells us these batteries, so we buy brand new batteries from Watson and put them in. Core support looks great. Let's see. I'm assuming that's a new battery under there. It's inside the box. There's your Ford stamp right here on the uh, driver's side core support. And there's your Ford stamp on the driver fender. And let's go right underneath there. Let's look on the roof real quick. Make sure there's no surprises up there. That is a boring white roof. There's nothing to look at there. Let's uh, put the camera underneath the truck. That's the uh, Rancho suspension that comes with the FX package. Kind of boring. Run to the front of the truck and show you. Okay, let's see. Very uneventful, which is good. We want uneventful. Let's look at the interior here. Here's your driver rear door panel. Looking good. Rear seat, I see a little bit of wear right there. Like someone scratched it, but it's not, I can't even feel the scratch, so it's very much on top. That's the carpet. Boy, it's common to see these back seats with very little wear. You have a slider, uh, rear sliding window. Uh, more boring. Nothing to picture there. Nothing to stress about. I'm used to a lot of stuff that discussing a lot of things that go along with theft recoveries that I'm not having to do here. Got a little bit of wear on the seat bolster, which is normal. A couple little scrapes back here on the seat. But nothing that's going it, to, there's no wear there. It's not like it's going to break through or tear anytime soon. It's really just dye work if you wanted to fix it. There's under the mat. Let's go forward with the seat. Power seat. Up. Down. Let's do the back. That goes up. That goes down. That's all there. Let me grab the keys out of the door. Get a seatbelt on. Okay. Fire this guy up. Doors open. Got a door open somewhere around here. All right, let's see. Let's turn on some air. Make sure the air works. Let's see. Get the air on. It's open. It's just your average truck here, people. There's nothing really going on. Aside from leaving a door a little bit open, apparently. Let's see, you have tow haul on and off. You have an adjustable pedal. Let's make sure that works. It does. You have cruise. You have tilt over here. Let's see. Let's actually let's show the so 149,141 miles. 
like I said, we had it over at Goldie's Diesel Repair. They're a great diesel shop. They do all of our stuff. They know the six O's inside and out. They know what to look for if any issues are going to arise. And they said it's fine, which means it's really fine. They know what they're doing. Put it into four low. Put it in drive. See, it's in low range there. And we're going. For, that's definitely low. Lots of torque. Let's put it in reverse. Back up in four low. And that works perfectly. Very low torque. Let's put it into, let's see, four high. Put it in drive. Bang. Put it in reverse. Perfect. All right. Let's go to two wheel drive high and go for a ride. Anyway, uh, this doesn't have your normal stories that we have with uh, salvage theft or anything like that. This is just a trade-in that had too many miles for them to be able to finance, so they uh, sent it to the auction. Normally, I would never even be able to get close to these things price-wise because the dealers just pay crazy money for it. So uh, I'm guessing that uh, that day uh, there was probably a big auction in Phoenix and everyone missed it. That's the only reason I have this truck. Um, Let's see, if you buy this truck um, and pay by wire and ship, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price. If you come to Tucson, you're going to pay our city tax of 2% 2, 2 plus your state sales tax. So if your state sales, sales tax is 3%, you're gonna pay 5% total tax plus a $250 dock fee, plus whatever we agree on the price. So it's, if it's $10,000, you're gonna pay $10,000.